Welcome again, Dean Boerter from In His Image Ministries from Durban, South Africa. Uh, today I wanted to chat about Ephesians 4, verses 12 to 13, where the saints are addressed as being those who are responsible for the work of the ministry, for the acts of faith. And it reminds us that they are all to grow up and mature and be brought into completion in the understanding of faith and in their knowledge of Christ. And through those two, to be able to do the works of service. In other words, to be the evidence of Christ Jesus and to do his ministry. Now, the book of Ephesians is an interesting book because it's addressed to the Ecclesia. Now, that's a much misunderstood word and term because uh, it can, you know, it can mean certain things in different contexts. The first time that Jesus talks about it, he is standing in front of the gates of hell and he's talking to the disciples about building what is translated into English as the church. But the word is ecclesia and it actually means a divine council. Uh, like the Sanhedrin, but Psalm 82 verse 1 also talks about God who takes his seat uh, on the mount of the north in the assembly of the gods, little g. Um, so there's this whole concept that hasn't been fully understood or grasped that Jesus was not talking about him building little congregations with the name of Christ on. He was talking about a body of rulers, a divine council. And that's at most times what the word means. And Ephesians, if we read about it, he's not talking about that local body of believers. He's talking about the ecclesia and the eternal purposes of God. Why did he choose the ecclesia of which he is the head? So Ephesians 1 22 and 23 talk to us about Jesus Christ was made the head over all the body and all things will be placed under his feet. Now the feet are his body, they're parts of the body, not parts of the head. So it's very clear that um, the enemies of Christ are put beneath the ecclesia. Is governing, ruling council. And uh, all of the fullness of Christ is in his body. Now, what does the fullness mean? Well, all of his ministry, all of his character, all of his nature, um, his rank, his privileges, his position in the Father. Um, everyone, his exousia, his authority, his power, all of those things, the fullness, are brought to completion in the body. Now, clearly the body and the head are meant to be together. And so headship starts when the body is connected. Then we see the full ministry of Christ Jesus appearing in the saints. That's their job. Their job is to show off the manifest wisdom of God to the principalities and powers who are in the heavenly realms because God is reconciling both heaven and earth. So Christ in heaven, us on earth, in each other, but in separate places now. And we the feet are bringing all of those principalities and all those powers under the dominion of Christ and his new ruling council, which is us. And so the full expression of Christ is only available when the body of Christ, all the ecclesia, understand who they are, what they are, and that they are the full release, full release, of who Christ is. So it's very important that in this day and in this age 
we get a hold of this and begin to implement it by bringing all the saints up to the same knowledge of faith and its acts, because faith without acts is dead, and the knowledge of the Son of God and their inheritance in the body of saints. 